On September 3rd, 2018, a Myanmar judge found two Reuters journalists guilty of breaching a state secrets law. Walon and Chasa U face seven years in prison. <laughs> They were arrested after uncovering a mass killing in Myanmar, which the authorities later acknowledged did happen. In August 2017, a military crackdown began in western Myanmar that has since sent 700,000 Rohingya, a Muslim minority, fleeing to refugee camps in neighboring Bangladesh. During the crackdown, 10 Rohingya were killed by security forces and Buddhist villagers. Walon and Chaso U investigated that massacre. A village elder gave them three photos. The first two showed 10 Rohingya Muslims and boys kneeling on September 1st, and then the following day. The third showed them in a pit, hacked and shot to death. The reporters verified the story not only with Muslims fleeing Myanmar, but also with Buddhists and members of the security forces. However, before they could publish their report, they were detained during an arranged meeting with police officers. For the next two weeks, they disappeared without a trace, leaving Walun's wife, Pan E, desperate for news. <laughs> The reporters remained in custody for months up to and during their trial. During that time, Pan E gave birth to the couple's first child. Chasa-u has a three-year-old daughter with his wife, Chitsu Win. He's already missed many milestones in her young life. After their arrest, Walon and Chasa'u were put in black hoods and taken to a secret camp where they were interrogated, threatened, and denied sleep for three days. After two weeks, they were transferred to Myanmar's notorious insane prison. Nonetheless, with their support, Reuters published their report on the massacre. The shocking evidence they'd found was indisputable. Myanmar authorities acknowledged that the massacre had happened even as they prosecuted the reporters. Their trial and sentencing has sparked a global outcry, not least among colleagues. Reuters president and editor-in-chief Stephen J. Adler. We view this as a wholly unwarranted, blatant attack on press freedom. Rights groups and governments have called for the release of the two reporters. Journalists in Myanmar and around the world have protested the court's judgment. But Myanmar's civilian leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, has defended the conviction of Walon and Chasa'u. It's not a matter of, we, they were not jailed because they were journalists. They were, they were jailed because the court has, well, sentence has been passed on them, because the court has decided that they had broken the Official Secrets Act. Hmm. The families of the two reporters have appealed to Myanmar's authorities for their release. For young people in Myanmar, like Walon and Cha Sao-u, Aung San Suu Kyi's sweeping election win in 2015 sharpened the hunger for freedom in Myanmar after decades of brutal military rule. It's part of what drove the pair to become journalists, to serve the public by finding out the facts that form the bedrock of the rule of law in a democracy. 
while providing that service, Walon and Cha Sa'u were wrongfully imprisoned and separated from their families. <laughs> Walon and Cha Sa'u and Reuters will continue to fight for their freedom.